Hey everybody, it's Brian Lowe with DAV, uh, still coming to you live from my basement in Northern Kentucky. Uh, today I have a very special guest and that's Doug Wells, who's a Marine Corps veteran and DAV's National Membership Director. Well, all of us know it's become way too normal uh, dealing with COVID-19 and the coronavirus and the restrictions and limitations that those bring to the surface in our daily lives. Um, Doug's here today to talk a little bit about from the recruiting uh, aspect membership, obviously membership driven organization. Um, Doug, how has COVID-19 made things difficult? And tell us a little bit about hot lists, how those work, and how uh, DAV recruiters can use those to hopefully help them kind of maneuver these difficult times. Sure, so we've been working for a while as an organization to try to put as many arrows in the quiver of our recruiters as we possibly can. And fortunately, um, you know, we've been trying to equip them with uh, mechanisms through which to recruit virtually and digitally. Um, one of those uh, tools uh, that we're providing them to recruit with uh, are what we're calling our hot lists. Uh, they've been av available for a couple of uh, a couple of years now, um, and we've been talking about it quite a bit at our national convention and webinars, uh, uh, other points of information that you can find at DAV.org in the members only section. Um, <clears throat> but essentially what happens is a uh, chapter officer can request a hot list of the most viable prospects for recruitment in their area. So um, these are folks that may not have ever been solicited by DAV, offered the ability to, or the opportunity to join our ranks. Um, and if they have been uh, uh, received a membership uh, solicitation, then it, it, you know, there may have only been one or two uh, that they've received over the past year or two uh, if they're on that list. So they're very, very um, fresh, viable prospects that we're hopeful our, our chapter leaders uh, can take charge of and um, uh, disseminate to their uh, recruiters within their chapter. Uh, a great way to use the hot list is to go ahead and um, use the contact information on, on there to reach out uh, to uh, these prospective members and just find out, hey, how you doing? You know, we're from DAV. Uh, we just want to check on you. Is everything good with your claim? Uh, are you getting to and from your medical appointments? Uh, we're here for you if we need you. And what we've seen is that the chapters that engage in that way with uh, the hot list and, and with those prospective members, they are much more successful in their recruitment efforts uh, because the prospective member understands and realizes the value of the and everything that we're bringing to the table. So they're much more amenable uh, to, uh, you know, pulling the trigger on becoming a member. DAV. No, that makes sense. Their exposure to the organization seems much more robust than uh, maybe another avenue. And obviously, as you know, we feel like we've been discussing this for way too long, but with the restrictions in place with the pandemic, um, you know, you and I were discussing it earlier this morning and, you know, each state's different. There's all these different guidelines depending upon where you live. You know, we do ask that wherever you are residing, you follow those guidelines and procedures to keep yourself safe and everybody you come across with as safe as possible. Um, but because of how many people aren't able to maybe leave their home and do their typical interactions at chapter meetings and so forth, explain Recruit a Warrior. It is a recruiting tool that is done uh, digitally. You can call you needs a computer, even an iPhone or a smartphone. Um, tell our viewers, Doug, a little bit about Recruit a Warrior, how it works, and how even, especially now, it can be so beneficial. Right. So, uh, again, trying to equip our member recruiters with all the tools that they need to be successful. Uh, the Recruit Warrior program was kind of born out of that effort. Uh, and the concept is simple. simple. Uh, you'll get a personalized link uh, that you can share via social media, email. You can uh, text it however you want to do it. Um, but you get it out there. Folks can click on that link uh, and join uh, the DAV through that link. And credit for that recruitment is automatically attributed to that recruiter. Nice. Uh, so that comes with, uh, you know, all the benefits of not only uh, extending the, the mission of service and hope uh, to our fellow fellow veterans, but also allows that recruiter to uh, not have to go through the, the process of uh, inputting their own membership member, uh, demonstrating that they're the sponsor of that new recruit. They get their DAV points, uh, you know, so they can purchase all that great DAV swag. Uh, from the DAV store or uh, to participate in any, uh, uh, you know, promotional uh, 
uh, type efforts that we might have going on at that time. Uh, everything from uh, specialized gear, swag, all the way up to cash prizes for our top recruiters. So, um, you know, the Recruiter War Link is, is just, it, there can't be a more um, easy way to, uh, to bring new folks on board. All they got to do, uh, go to dav.org slash warrior. Uh, they put in the email address that they uh, use to sign up online with DAV. Uh, if they're not in the system already, that's okay. The system will let them know that in an email back to them. Uh, they can easily just give the membership department a call at 888-236-8313, and we'll go ahead and set up their profile. Uh, these links are always active. They're just, they're, uh, there doesn't have to be some kind of special promotion going on. They're always active. And again, uh, you know, they just go ahead and share that via their social media um, or, uh, uh, you know, other mechanisms. Uh, they're available for Facebook, Twitter, uh, email, the whole nine. And it's, it's very, once you get your profile set up, it's just one click. That's all you got to do. Just one click and send. Um, and it makes it really nice. The thing I would caution, though, uh, for our recruiters, um, if you're looking to get personal credit for the recruitment, uh, make sure you get your own personalized link. If you share somebody else's link when that individual signs up, that other recruiter is going to get uh, uh, credit for the, the recruitment uh, because of the, the automatic attribution. So uh, that was something our members were really looking for, and we were so pleased to be able to give it to them. Now, awesome. Um, for those of you watching, one thank you. Uh, this is part one of what will be a two-part uh, interview series between myself and Doug. Doug, before we sign off here with part one, uh, please give that site again one more time for Recruiter Warrior, where you can go to get their personalized link. So dav.org slash warrior. And again, uh, if you're having issues, you can just, uh, you know, shoot the membership department an email or give us a call and, and we'll get you squared away. All right, Doug, thanks. Everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, please keep your eyes peeled for part two coming your way shortly. Thank you very much. Thanks, everybody.